and enjoy life today because yesterday is gone and tomorrow's never promised. I chose to do my informative speech on childhood leukemia cancer. I picked this topic because I wanted to become more familiar with it and learn more about it. I would like to major in nursing and possibly going to pediatric oncology. I love working with kids and want to make a difference in their lives. Within this speech, I'll inform you about the different types of leukemia, the history, the symptoms, the treatment, the diagnosis, and the ways families cope when their child has cancer. Parents need to be reassured that there are doctors and nurses doing their best to protect your child. Leukemia is the number one most common childhood cancer. According to Joseph Pano, a PhD in his textbook, Cancer, the Genes, Lifestyles, and Environment, he stated that nearly 32,000 adults and more than 2,000 children learned that they had leukemia. Leukemia is when bone marrow produces abnormal white blood cells, which then crowds out the healthy blood cells, making it hard on the blood. It comes from the Greek word leuko, meaning white, and hemia or emia, meaning blood. Dr. Velpio was the first to come up with a common case. Um, he stated that there was an enlarged spleen and pus in the person's blood. Rudolf Virchow was the first to come up with two common types of leukemia, one including acute lymphobac leukemia, which is affects the lymph nodes and affects children between the ages of 2 and 8, and acute myeloid leukemia, which affects the spleen and affects children before the age of two or in their teenage years. In the 1800s, it was described as a distinct disease. Today is the number one most curable disease. And according to Silverstone and Nunn's textbook in 2000 and 1998, 140,000 people in the U.S. learned that they had leukemia. Leukemia is hard to diagnose because it has similar symptoms to the cold, flu, or mono. Symptoms include tiredness, weakness, pale skin, infections, excessive bleeding or bruising, enlarged spleen or liver, and a high fever. It is, um, the cause is unknown and because of that, it is hard to prevent. It is important to get regular checkups and during a checkup, a doctor will look for excessive bleeding or bruising and enlarged spleen or liver, or um, they will also check the eyes, mouth, and skin very closely. The tre um, can Leukemia doesn't necessarily have a stage of cancer, but rather they look for how big the tumor is and how long the tumor has been spreading. It starts in the bone marrow and then travels into the blood. Chemotherapy is the number one most common treatment that they will use, um, it, but it all depends on what type of leukemia he or she has. Um, according to the Kids Health website, um, there's also drug therapy, radiation, or bone marrow and blood stem cell transplantation. Chemotherapy can um, have negative side effects as well, including hair loss, um, nausea, or even infections. It is one of the most depressing, heartbreaking, and difficult times when the doctor tells you that your child has cancer. But there are many ways to cope when your child has cancer. Parents need to cope by relaxing, staying active, finding a support group, or also um, writing to your friends and family about ways to help. According to the National Cancer Institutes at the National Institutes of Health in 2016, they noted different changes that come about in your child's life, some including appearance, including hair loss, weight loss or gain, um, uh, nausea, or even people will mistake your gender or even stare at you at times. Um, changes can also come in friendships or feelings, often feeling anxious, sad, scared, stressed. Um, and there's so many different changes and outlooks that will come about in your child's life. Um, the one question that children ask a lot is, why did it happen to me? And it's very hard to answer that question, but the best way to answer that is saying that God has a plan for you and he knows what he's doing 
and um, just to trust in him and believe that he knows what he is doing. I hope this speech informed you about the different types of leukemia, the symptoms, the history, the diagnosis, and treatment, and the ways families cope when their child has cancer. It's a very hard thing to go through, but parents need to be reassured that they're that is the number one curable disease. And they also need to be reassured that there are doctors and nurses doing their best to protect um, your child and help them.